Hey, you're here again. I'm Gabrielle, and I was just thinking about what we were talking about last time, because we've learned a lot of stuff already. Are you ready to join me again? Let's review what we talked about last time. Remember the big mountain of Revelation, where Jesus is trying to save all of humanity, but there's a big battle between Christ and Satan. And the end of Revelation tells us how the story ends and that Jesus is coming soon to take all those who believe in him to heaven. You know, the book of Revelation can seem confusing, even to grown-ups sometimes. But we're going to go through it together, and you'll see it's not too hard. Jesus is working to save us if we'll only listen. So let's listen to what he has to share with us. Sometimes when we read the words in Revelation, they seem mm, a little bit strange. And mm, I don't know if I can understand that. But when we step back and look at the big picture, we can see the theme is the same, that Jesus loves us and he wants to rescue us. Well, do you want to go with me? And let's look in the book of Revelation and see what some of these difficult words mean. We're going to take a big picture view and travel through the book and see some interesting things. Are you ready to go with me? Let's go. Do you remember who wrote the book of Revelation? Yes, it was John the Apostle. He was told to write down everything that he saw and heard from the angel sent by Jesus. John begins by writing the opening to a letter because he's going to send this message to the churches. And if he wrote it today, it might sound something like this. Hi, I'm John, and I just saw some amazing things. God gave a message to Jesus, and Jesus gave it to me to share with you. This stuff is straight from heaven itself, so you'll be really blessed if you read it and listen. This is the same Jesus that died and rose from the dead, went back to heaven, and saves us from our sins. He's coming back soon and wants us all to be ready for that great occasion. In this letter, I'm telling you everything that he showed me. I saw some strange symbols, but they all mean something important, so keep reading. Don't be afraid. Jesus is alive in heaven and has power over death. Stick with him and you'll be fine. Hey, that was great what John saw and that he was sharing it with everyone. But are you a little curious about what some of those things were? I am. So you want to join me and let's take a peek at some of the things that John saw. One of the things Jesus gave John was some special messages for the seven churches. Seven churches? Hmm, what's that? Well, let me explain. These seven churches were real places, real churches, people meeting together in seven real cities. They also mean something else because seven, if you remember, is a special number in the Bible. It means completeness. So these messages were not only for those seven churches, they were also for all of God's people all throughout history. And that includes us. Do you wonder what Jesus was telling those seven churches? Well, first he was letting them know when they were doing things well. And he also gave them some warnings when things weren't going so well. Do you sometimes have problems? I know I do. And he wanted to tell them how to overcome their problems. And he also gave them beautiful promises about what would happen when they overcame. The next part of Revelation is about seven seals. Now, this is not the seal that swims in the ocean. No, these are seals that close something up. These were on a scroll so that you couldn't open it. 
and a scroll is an old time book. They didn't have books like we have. They wrote things down on paper and rolled them up in a scroll. Now John was very sad because no one could open this scroll, but then he saw that Jesus could open the scroll. So Jesus is the one that can unfold history and carry out his plan of saving us from sin. As Jesus opened each of the seals on this scroll, it represents the gospel. That means Jesus' love and plan to save us going out to all the world. And it tells about what happens when people either accept Jesus' love or reject it. And this message is for everybody. The messages in these seven seals are really about a call to repent and to be sorry for any bad things we've done and to come to Jesus for forgiveness. He's willing to save anyone that comes to him. Wow, are you ready to go on? I know it's a lot of information. We're doing a quick tour through the book of Revelation. And the next section is about trumpets. Do you like to hear a trumpet blow? John sees and hears seven angels blowing seven trumpets. Now, in the Bible, trumpets are blown for many reasons. One of them is God hears his people when they call on him, and that's good news. Also, trumpets were blown to warn people of danger. Say an enemy was approaching, the trumpets would blow and people would get ready. The seven trumpets are warnings to the world. With each trumpet blast, some crazy things happen on earth. It shows what happens when God removes his protection. Now, you would think people would wake up, but sadly, many people do not listen. They don't want to accept Jesus' love. The seven trumpets are God's urgent warning to the world headed for destruction. Come on the Lord's side, I will save you. The seventh trumpet is good news for God's people because Jesus is coming soon. But it's not so good news for those who have rejected his love. So the seven trumpets are important warnings for the world. God doesn't want anyone to be lost. He loves everyone. That's why his warnings are loud and powerful. Everyone has a chance to have eternal life and live with him forever if they'll just listen and follow him. We've learned a lot, haven't we? Let's have a little quiz and review what we've learned. I'm curious to see what good answers you have. Are you ready? Okay, question one. Who gave John the job of writing down everything he saw and heard in his vision? Was it A, the church, or B, a friend of John, or C, Jesus? The answer is C, Jesus. Jesus told John to write down everything he saw and heard in his vision. Okay, question two. Which of these answers tells us something about the seven churches? A, these are real churches at the time of John. B, it tells us something about the history of God's people. C, it gives instructions and promises for those who overcome or D, all of the above. And did you have the right answer? The answer is D, all of the above. Okay, here's question three. How many seals were on the scroll that John saw?
yes, that's right. There were seven seals, and they were all opened one by one. Okay, here's the last question. What musical instruments were used in Revelation to represent the loud warnings God is sending to the world? Yes, that's right. They were trumpets. Do you remember how many trumpets there were? Yes, seven trumpets. Very good. Did you notice that everything we talked about here has the number seven? Seven churches, seven seals, seven trumpets. Why the number seven? Do you remember what seven means? Yes, it's God's number and the number of completeness or perfection. Did you know there's a lot more symbols to talk about? But we won't talk about all of them now. If we try to learn everything at once, we might forget a lot of things. Join me next time so we can learn more about Jesus and his plan for us. See you again next time.